Hi everybody, so here's Daisy Editor um, playing on my very old, well it's about eight years old now, um, Acer laptop. So I wanted to do a quick kind of, kind of like a demonstration video on how you can get it running on an old laptop, kind of the settings to look at, that sort of stuff. Now normally when I'm running Daisy and Daisy Editor, um, anything PC related, and you see that on my channel, although I am running it on this old laptop, I'm actually running it on a shadow cloud gaming pc as well which is a streaming solution that allows you to play uh, high-end games and high-end applications on an old uh, piece of hardware so what i'll do is i'll put a link to um, shadow in the description below the video however it's quite expensive but the question i've been asked a lot over the last few days is okay rob it's great that we've got this amazing tool tool the daisy editor um but the reason why I play Daisy on console is because I don't have a high-end PC or laptop to to to, to um, download the editor to. So what I'm showing you here is this is my laptop in its pure form. So I'm not using the Shadow Cloud um, bit of it. I'm just just running it normally. So I thought what I'll do. Let's have a look at what spec my computer is. So this is a Intel Core i5. 2.6 gigahertz CPU with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has no um, dedicated graphics card or anything like that. So even when it was new, sort of eight years ago, it struggled. It couldn't play games. You know, it's quite good at processing video um, and surfing the web and stuff like that. But that's about it, really. Can't can't really do much else. So. In order to get Daisy Editor working, first thing you've got to do is install Steam, buy a copy of Daisy, go to the workshop, subscribe to the Daisy Editor mod and the associated mods, and then fire up. And it'll probably take a while to fire up. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that in the in the launcher for Daisy, um, after the editor comes up, go into the settings, go into the graphical settings, and set set everything to low. And then disable anything you can as well. So if you can disable post-processing and anti-aliasing, and anti-aliasing, aliasing, all that sort of stuff, you know, to set that all to low. And then within the um, within the editor itself, go to editor, go to preferences, and you want to drag the view distance right down. So my view distance is 1940 meters, 1940 meters. My object view distance is 650 meters. It doesn't need to be very long. Um, and then what hopefully you will get is, although it's not, it's not very responsive, as you can see. I'll close. If I if I go, oh, wrong one. If we go up. There we go. Let's go up a bit faster. What you should see is that I'm just getting a little bit, a little chunk of Daisy here, the Chernerus. You see, it's only drawing the stuff that's fairly close to where I am. So it's not trying to draw in anything else, any objects, which is the thing that really cripples your, your PC. Um, so if you do that, you may well find... Ooh, let's come down again. Here we go. But the editor, although it's probably running at about six frames a second, if that on this old PC, it is usable. You know, I can drag items in and move them around. Um, I can't, <laughs> I can't rotate them because I'm using one hand to control. I suppose I could do it like this. If we double click on the little blue box, come on. Do it for me. It's responsiveness that you that you're losing when you're trying to run Daisy Editor like this. Here we go. Properties. Here we go. So we can open that up. Now what I should be able to do is go into here now and click into these little boxes. And if you watch the little tent at the bottom, it's not moving very fast. I'm tipping it up, I'm tipping it around. Let's see if we can rotate it. 
you should, be, should be, just be able to see it rotating this isn't the best normally you'd use this method for doing fine adjustments so although it's not responding very quickly it is workable and it is doable so you know if you've watched some of my daisy edit videos you're thinking oh i've only got access to a really crappy old laptop wait for daisy to go on sale on the steam sale or get it from a um, like cdkeys.com you can only buy a cheap key from there install steam install daisy download this the editor mob and mod and you may well be surprised as long as you're patient what you've got to do is you've got to have a can of drink or a cup of coffee or a cup of tea to hand so as you're waiting for it to load and for it to slowly chunder around you've got something to do but it is doable if you've got a bit of patience and a, and a bit of passion um, to spend some time basically forcing old hardware to, to, to run this quite uh, in-depth program. So the other option, as I say, is running a, uh, a cloud streaming um, solution. And for me, Shadow is, is the best one. But again, it's not cheap. I think it's about £30 a month, but it's invaluable for me because obviously we create, create all these videos. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to that in the description below. And that means what that turns this laptop into, turns it into a machine with, you know, 16 gigabytes of fast RAM, um, a dedicated NVIDIA something or other graphics card. I can't remember. A much better processor, that sort of stuff. Basically, I can play Daisy on high settings, on, on, on the, the highest settings at 60 frames a second. And it, and it works cool. But there we go. Hopefully that video is useful. If it has been, hit like. Tell me your experiences. You know, if you have you tried this, put 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 what you what's happened to you in the comments below the video, and I will of course see you again soon.